All right, everybody, welcome back to Optimal Training Group. In this video, I'm going to show you how do we filter a gallery based on what we select. So, for example, if I click the Hilton or the Holiday Inn, Hyatt, I want to have a gallery down here and it automatically just filters the gallery so I can see exactly the six items or the four items here or the five um, hotels and whatever details I need to see. So let's go ahead and get started. Now let's see how we access some of these properties. So um, I'm going to add some labels here so I can show you first a label. So now what we want to happen is we want to be able to filter our gallery based on these values here, based on the hotel name, you know, so we're going to be going to the on select, right? So before we do that, let me show you this. So let's come here and the name of our chart is column chart. So I'm going to come here. And I'm going to say column chart. And as you can see, it has properties. So dot selected dot label. And so let's do that for each one of these so that you can see. What happens as we select. Okay, so column chart one dot selected Since we don't have a color, we do have a color, but let's focus on these two. All right, so now when we come here and we select, you see how it's doing, you know, it's giving me my values. So we're gonna be using this here to filter. So let's go ahead and add our, our gallery. Let me delete, let me do this actually. So let me do this. And then let's go add our gallery. Now in a real world scenario, I'll make this look a lot prettier than what it is now. So let's come down here, add our gallery. Let's add our, what did we call it? Let's add our, our collection is going to be the value of our items property for that gallery. So here's our collection. So I'm gonna copy that, come here and paste. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, let's add a, label and so i'm going to come here and i'm going to say let's get a date created date right okay let's add another label we can have Created by display name. And let's add one more. I'm 
Okay. And let's do the hotel name. We don't really need to, but let's say hotel name. Um, I mean, I have it showing up here, but you know, just in case. So let's bring this up. Okay. Let me move this up a little bit. All right. But we want to filter this. So let's go ahead and filter this. So we select the gallery and then we come up here and then we're going to say filter this collection where hotel name is equal to and then if you remember the name of our chart is column chart one dot selected dot label and then close parentheses and there you have it so when I come up here and I do best western as you can see is it's changing and it's showing me the associated list items in my list that associates with um, that corresponds to what I select. So here's the Hilton, there's my Holiday Inn, there's the Hyatt, Marriott, the Ritz Carlton. You know, so that's a quick little video of how you would do that. I hope that made sense. Please like and share this video. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks, bye.